Dr. Curry here. Most of my patients are women, okay? It's been my experience that women tend, as a generality, to really focus in on their health. When things are not right and when things, when the train's coming off the tracks, they don't let it come all the way off the tracks before they seek help, okay? Men, on the other hand, Men can kind of sit back and, and kind of say, well, I know I'm not, th things aren't right in my body. I know my health is not what I want it to be. I don't feel good, but maybe, just maybe, it'll go away on its own. Maybe, maybe I'll just get better. Maybe it'll magically disappear and then life will go back to normal. And so women tend to act faster. So one of the things that I like to look at when it comes to hormones for my female patients, but I also look at it for the men, is estrogen. Okay. Now, estrogen is a big player because whenever someone is ovulating, a younger female in her reproductive years, then she's going through the luteal phase, there's those hormones are going to be in a different place. They're going to be at different levels. But a lot of my patients come to me and they're in menopause or postmenopause even. And then when they're at that stage, okay, those hormones are supposed to be way less. The estrogen, you know, you got three different estrogens. Those estrogens are going to be lower or they should be lower in a postmenopausal female. Now, what can happen is though, is you can see high estrogen, you can see low estrogen. Now, high estrogen can really be a problem because most cancers are estrogen driven. Also, people who are type 2 diabetics, they're severely insulin resistant. So by default, they're dealing with estrogen dominance. Men that are carrying the spare tire, the pear-shaped abdomen, you know, like the, the extra belly fat, that's a hallmark sign of estrogen dominance and insulin resistance. That's why you can see so many men that are you know, getting up there in years who are getting that, their metabolism is slowing down and they get that spare tire, they get a little bit more sensitive, they get a little bit more grouchy, they get a little bit more crabby and they're like uh, agitated easily because estrogen will do that, okay? Now, the, uh, the other thing is they can get more emotional, okay? So like older men, they can tend to get a little bit more emotional, but that's because they're going into that estrogen dominance pathway as their testosterone decreases and they're eating an unhealthy diet, following an unhealthy lifestyle, and then they're just pushing very hard in the estrogen dominance direction. Now, even more so important for my females, one of the things that I look at is the clearing of the estrogens. So those estrogens go down a pathway and in the liver, here we go back to the liver. You know, I always talk about the liver, but in the liver, you've got phase one, phase two, and phase three detoxification. And those estrogens have to go through those different phases of detoxification in order to get cleared from the body, okay? Well, sometimes people can have different things that are off along that chemical pathway that keep those estrogens from getting cleared. And then the estrogens can just kind of stay in the body and do things that we would not want. And so that is a really important thing if you're trying to maintain your health and look at your overall health is to know what your estrogens are to begin with and then also look to see if those are being cleared from the body and if making sure that you have good phase one, phase two, phase three detoxification pathways happen in the liver so that you can get a clearing of that estrogen because you need it, but you don't want too much, okay? So anyway, once again, I'm Dr. Keith Curry. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Plus you can go to my website, drcurry.com to learn more about my functional medicine practice and read some articles that I've written and things like that. I hope you have a wonderful day.